The demand for science, technology, engineering, and math-related jobs, or STEM, is continuing to rise. This month, let's shine the spotlight on Skyview Elementary's STEM program and find out how this school is paving the way for tomorrow's engineers, researchers, innovators, and thinkers. But first, it's time for The Scoop with Scallon. Eighth graders from Severance and Windsor Middle School had a chance to attend the Get Into the Guts of Healthcare at Ames Community College on November 7th. These students were able to try their hands at medical training techniques and explore possible healthcare career paths. On November 10th, Windsor and Severance High Schools honored our community's veterans with heartfelt speeches, beautiful band, orchestra, and choral performances, and a word from special guest, Army CSM William Tomlin. To the veterans who attended and to the veterans who work right here in our schools, thank you for your service. You deserve to be celebrated each and every day. The new Mountain View Elementary Playground is officially opened and students are having fun exploring their new space. This playground incorporates inclusive play, including a wheelchair accessible merry-go-round, a wheelchair accessible play structure, segments that feature Braille and ASL alphabet, Spanish and English phrases, Colorado State fun facts, and more. This month, our high schools put on incredible performances that remind me of just how much talent we have in our district. Windsor High School presented the hilarious rendition of The Play That Goes Wrong, and Severance High School took us on a magical journey down the yellow brick road in The Wizard of Oz. The results of the November 7th election are in, and we'd like to welcome Jennifer Hansen, Mark Leach, and Karen Tressler as newly elected members of the Weld RE4 Board of Education. Raymond Ruth will return for another term as well, and Lance Nichols, whose seat was not up for election this year, will continue his term. I'd like to personally thank Russ Smart, Reagan Price, and Patrick Miller for their years of service to our district. The Board of Education voted to approve the Boundary Committee's recommendations for boundary changes to accommodate the future elementary and middle schools. If you are the primary contact for an elementary student in our district, you should have received an email indicating your child's assigned boundary school, as well as additional information and instructions regarding the choice enrollment process. Choice enrollment applications must be submitted by February 1, 2024. Similar communication will be sent to middle school families next year. Speaking of our future schools, the Board of Education also voted to approve the recommendations of the focus groups for the names, colors, and mascots for the Peak View and Rain Dance Site elementaries. I am pleased to introduce the Peak View Site as Hollister Lake Elementary, home of the Bulldogs, and the Rain Dance Site as Orchard Hill Elementary, home of the Pelicans. November was a jam-packed month, and I wish I could tell you about all the amazing things our students are accomplishing. For more news and updates, watch your student's school newsletter. For now, let's explore the world of STEM at Skyview Elementary. STEM is, um, it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And it isn't a curriculum itself, it is more of a way to view the curriculum that we are already teaching through a certain lens. For example, in math, instead of just doing a ratio table with just numbers, we tied it to an animal, which is something that we're reading about. So we decided to do like, how long could a viper over several days travel if he travels at six miles per hour? So that kind of took the math that we needed to do, the reading that we needed to do, and then the um, animal communication science curriculum and kind of just melded them all together into one nice cohesive unit that was very engaging. That, that meant a lot more to the kids when they were tying it to something that was interesting to them. This is my third year at Skyview and I teach engineering and technology. It's one of the specials here, uh, just like music, PE, and art. 
I think it's important for kids to be exposed for STEM at this age because it, to spark their interest at a young age so they can carry on uh, throughout the grade levels. For us, it's more than a, just a hands-on activity. It's really getting down to the academic standards that they need to learn and then using it to apply those skills and knowledge to a authentic problem. OtterBox has been wonderful. We got a grant from OtterBox that gave us uh, some Lego uh, coding boxes. So what students do is first they uh, build with Legos and then they start to code it. It has a motor and a battery and they use that iPad to make their uh, Legos move. So it's combining hands-on activities with that technology piece into one thing. And so a big thank you to OtterBox. So one of the projects that we've done in here is first we learned about force, those pushes and pulls. And then what we did is we applied it to an engineering challenge. And the challenge for the students was to create a wheelchair ramp that wasn't too fast or too slow. Second grade right now has been kind of learning about erosion. So they're, they learned about landslides and now they're gonna figure out how to stop a landslide. So we create a smaller model of a landslide, then they use that engineering process to see if they can stop it. The hollow steam is my favorite thing that I've that uh, we've come up with. Typically, I would have them all choose something that they are afraid of and just think, how could you present this in a way that's hands-on but could also take the fear out of it? But really, it's just all fun and games, just learning about how the things that could be considered scary aren't scary at all if you think about it through the lens of science. During the, the end of the year, we have a STEM day where we kind of turn the whole building into science, engineering, technology, and math. And we do have people in the community kind of show what they're doing and to kind of spark interest and see how it connects to the outside world. I think just some of the proudest moments I see is when kids are doing an engineering project and it doesn't work the first time and you can kind of see the, the wheels working in their head of how they're going to go back and change it. I love what I do and I love working with kids all day and to see the creativeness that they have and the passion that they have for learning definitely just uh, fills my cup as well. I'm here at Skyview Elementary and a friend of mine is joining me today. Her name is Harper. Harper, can you say hi to everyone? Hi! Harper, can you tell us a little bit about what grade you're in? I'm in fourth grade. I'm in Mrs. Shepard's class. Mrs. Shepard, I heard she's a great teacher. Oh, is she ever? And can you tell me a little bit about what's going on over there? Yeah. They're building um, a new playground for playground. all of us, um, and it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. I saw there's different panels on it. We have a tire swing. We have a bunch of slides. Um, we have some stuff we can climb on. We have spinny things. I love those spinny things. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of cool stuff at the playground. It's going to be exciting, huh? That's really fun. So this is, Skyview is a STEM school. Can you tell people out there what STEM stands for? STEM st stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Very good. Now, you said Mrs. Shepard is your teacher. Yes. What have you done in your classroom, some projects that relate to STEM? So, um, during Halloween, um, we learned about dry ice, and um, it was really fun because when you put it in hot water, it, like, it made a mist. It made a mist, kind of like a scary, foggy yeah, mist. That's and that's why they call it Hallo Steam. Steam. Hallo Steam. That was a cool experiment. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, what are some other things you do that deal with STEM? We learn a lot of cool math facts, like um, we learn about how, we learn how to add fractions. That's what we're learning right now. Fractions are fun. <laughs> Especially when they're with food. What's your favorite part about going to school here? My favorite part about going to school here is um, having really fun teachers. They're all really, really fun um, STEM teachers, and I really like having them as my teacher. Yeah. Great. Well, Harper, thank you so much. You're welcome. It was nice to meet you, and thanks for sharing with all the people about STEM and what, what you do here at Skyview. I'm happy to. Thank you. Well, I'll have to maybe interview you again, honey. <laughs> yes, please. Thanks for joining me here at Skyview Elementary, our STEM school.